Hey guys, it's me, Cruel Dark or Seth, coming at you with another video of Minecraft How to Code a Hat Client number three. In t last episode, we made our amazing little step. That's not step. We made our amazing little step. And I don't know why I named it this because I don't know what I was doing. It's never used, blah 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 blah. In other case. So, this episode, it's gonna be kind of short because I'm. I have to go soon. So we're gonna make two little simple hacks, actually. We're gonna be making a no fall. No, not a no fall. We're, we'll do that next episode. It's pretty easy. We might do it this episode. Who knows? We're gonna be doing a fly and a velocity, which is no knockback, pretty much. So we're just gonna set up the event for velocity. So we're, we're just gonna call it a uh, read packet event. And this is going to be called whenever a packet comes into your game that the server sends to you, like a velocity packet. It's going to extend event of... Sorry, if I mess up, I'm sorry, because I use my own event system and this is different. Alright, it's public, read packet event, and then we're going we're gonna to want a packet, because obviously, why wouldn't we want a packet? Pretty sure it's that one. Call little thing up here. Packet. Packet. Not packet. I can't say it today. And then we're gonna call a little simple packet get packet. So we can get the packet being sent to us. And then we can modify it and do whatever we want to it. And then send it to a client. And then there you go. I don't. Is this. Yeah, okay, we gotta implement cancel. Alright, because. I don't use this event system at all. Like, at all. Because it's pre preferably. I mean, it's easy, but I like my own way of calling events and registering them. So I just use that one. I'm pretty sure it is cancel, yeah. Return is cancel. Return is set cancel, right? Yeah. Alright. So now you got all this set up, packet and extractor, and the cancel event. And now what you're gonna do, if you're on IntelliJ, which you should be, just kidding, you can use Glyphs. Glyphs is really good, I used it for the longest time. Double tap shift, packet, thread, u2. Pop you up with this little nice class, and then you're about to go, not there, you're gonna go into the run method. And then my cat is, doing whatever he wants to do. All right, so then you're gonna go, actually, from here, we're gonna go public enum uh, packet state. This could allow us to go pre and post, so we can call events based on that. So, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do read packet event, and then I'm just gonna call it pack now read event. Then, this is what I like to do. I, I think it's event manager, right? Event manager dot call. Yeah, yeah. Event manager dot call. I'm going to read packet event equals new read packet event. I just forgot this. I am like slacking today. Private packet state. State. This dot state equals state. And then packet state. State. And then public. Packet state state get state returns this dot state. That'll get the state when we need it for our event. So now we're gonna get the packet sets the peep jigger. Yeah, there you go. And that's the Minecraft one, right? Yep. Yep. Alright, we're good. And then we're gonna go packet state that pre this is the this is before it gets called and I just copy this over paste it down here and do the post packet and then we do if read event that is cancelled return and pretty much is what is happening and then you're just gonna exit out of this class all done with that. Now, well, let's, let's make the velocity one first because that's the easiest. Fly is really easy too, but I just first thing I thought of. 
Cut velocity. You can cut no knockback. Whatever you want. It's up to you. Extends our module class. I don't remember the constructor anymore. It's been so long since I've done this. That's not what you do. Okay. Public velocity. And super. And what we do? Name and keybind. Alright. So it's called velocity. And the keybind for this is going to be. Let's do V. Because that makes the most sense. Alright. Then we need our. Read pack event. So we're going to do at event handler. Target. Use the bucket. Alright. Public void. On read packet event. Call it whatever you want. Read packet event. Event. If event that get state equals packet state that pre. Then. And if the event that get packet not the get state packet instance of and then the velocity packet which is s12 packet entity velocity then what we're gonna do is we're just get that set cancel true that cancels the event so that the client doesn't care about it and just throws it away and that's pretty much it we gotta do our on enable methods right what did i do for this just super all right super and super make sure you have this or it will not work at all this registers it and that's for velo that's velocity right there. Easy peasy. Next, let's do our little fly one real quick. Try the fly. Extends module. Import that. Public fly. Super fly. Keyboard that if. This is gonna be on target. Yep. Wait, wait on motion. Update event motion update. I didn't call it event motion update, I called it motion update event. Event. And then we're gonna do if is enabled. Uh, get player. No, we didn't do that yet. We'll do that in the later video. MC that the player that capabilities that is flying equals true. That will make us fly. And then We'll do on enable, on disable, and then after it unregisters the event, we're gonna make sure they don't fly anymore. So the player that capabilities that is flying equals false. So they stop flying. Although this will do the same thing. We don't need this to be honest. And that's pretty much it with the fly. How long has it been so far? It doesn't tell me. Oh, it's great. I love you, OBS. You're great. Alright, anyways, if you just tell me I didn't even see it. It's about a couple minutes. Alright. What the hell? What the hell? We'll just do a simple little no fall. Probably not the best no fall, but it works. So, no fall module. Public no fall. And give it a name. Give it a keybind. Why isn't that capitalized? Keyboard in. What the? Okay. Key on a friend. I don't know why that's there. I don't like that there. It's annoying. It's just yellow. Like, what are you doing with your life? Alright, we're good. Anyways. Sorry about that. We're doing enough on that fly. Alright. Little, another motion update event. Pretty much copy and paste it from the fly. I don't know how I do that. Motion update event. Event. And then we're going to do if MC at the the player that fall distance back okay <laughs> it's greater than two mc that mc that the player that on ground equals true i'm pretty sure this worked i'm pretty sure this is how i did it before um like i said i don't some of these i don't make the same way but i can't make them the same way because i don't have the thing set up yet and i'm not setting them up yet until a later video once the later videos come and if any of these modules don't work for any reason, then I'll just modify them to how I have them. And then this step on step add new fly. And there's everything up. And that's that's it. Now we can just hit if you're on IntelliJ and you set everything up, shift F9. It'll start up your client for you. 
after 30 years, because it has to do everything. This pops up, I'm too lazy to update it, go away. Theoretically, all the packs should work. This I'm skeptical about. No, this won't work. What am I doing? Unenable. Undisable. You go away, kitty. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Alright. This is taking forever. And this cat. I'll be right back once it's done. How do you pause this? How do you pause it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it. Okay, back. So this, I'm completely autistic with the way I do things. This, this won't, this won't work at all. This, this will not work. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. To make it work, replace that with mc.dubplayer.add, nope, that's send q, send q, fucking word. Send, I can't type, oh my god. That, add to send q, new co3 packet player, true. This basically sets their on ground to true and send it to the server. There you go, all better. And, let's start a client. I realized how t autistic I was right there, and I don't know how to make a hat client, because I'm a scrub. So, sorry about that. If you actually know how to code a client and you're watching this to make fun of me, well, there's your opportunity right there. Anyways, back into this. Go into here. Go away, boo. Dog, go away. Puppy, go. Alright, so now, we are back in the server. It is lagging. Look at that. Look at that lag. Look at that lag. Why are we at low health? Anyways, press F. Fly around. And as you can see, we are in survival, not in creative. And this recording software like breaks my game, Jesus. So if we fall, we take damage. Press no fall. Go up, fall. Hey look, we don't take damage. Look at that. We can fly as far as we want and not take damage. The next one we coded was velocity. Now, to show this, I'm going to hop into creative. Get a little dispenser. Get a button. Some redstone. I should just get a fresh plate. Why not? Some arrows. And then let's place this down right here. Down, down, bang. Activates it. Okay. Game mode zero. So if we turn it off. Hey, look, we take damage. Turn it on. Hey, look, we don't. Or we take damage, but we don't get knocked back. Yeah? Take uh, uh, okay. Ow, oh, and I'm gonna die. They can just fly around away from that and kill this sheep because nobody likes sheep. Anyways, well, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned some new things. And I will see you in episode 4 where we might possibly be adding new events and a bunch more hacks. So stay tuned for that. And I will talk to y'all later. Oh, I broke it. Uh oh, oh, damn. Okay, bye.